The first game of round five is finished, and it's a draw between Vidit and Caruana. But the game actually was very, very interesting. Um, there were so many possibilities for White, um, so we would really love to know your opinion about what was going on in this game. Uh, did you feel that you were uh, much better at some point, uh, Vidit? Yeah, it looked completely winning for me. Um, but in the end, I just uh, made one mistake and... Okay, let's put the microphones a little bit closer. Um, so could you please tell, take us through the key moment, like what really went wrong? So first, uh, let's start from the opening. So were you surprised by the choice? Um, how, how did it happen that you uh, actually got to this lost position? Well, well I played an interesting variation, which is, of course, quite risky. But it's not necessarily bad. And I think after bishop before c4, black should be OK already. I mean, achieving c4 is sort of a goal of black. Mm -hmm. Maybe after knight c3, cd, cd, I should take on f3 first. I don't know. And then play e6, and it should be, I guess, normal. But OK, yeah, I mean. So first, maybe take here and then yeah, f6, right? At least I don't mm -hmm. get left with this rather passive bishop. And the queen b3, yeah, I think I made some very questionable decisions. Maybe also after bishop e3, I should trade queens. But I thought I'm a bit worse in the endgame. But maybe it's not so bad taking a6 and it might not be a big deal, but then after, like, yeah, I underestimated this knight h4, and I started to dislike my position. Um, because if bishop b7 take and f4, and I don't really get to stop white from expanding in the center. And my king, okay, I can play long castle, but I thought I'm somewhat worse after d4, for example, and king b8, maybe it's how I should play, but I, I wasn't too happy with it. We did, and what do you think? Uh, was it the way for black to defend, or um, you have some better idea, maybe? I was, I was still going to play d4 here, and d5 next move, and it looked like a very nice position for white, actually. So, I, hard, hard to say where black went wrong. White just has a very nice position. <laughs> it doesn't look like a Sicilian. It looks like we got a slob of some sort. Yeah, but, indeed. But one where white got the center, so it should be quite pleasant for white here. Yeah, but where where do you think it went wrong for white? Like how... Um... Maybe here you should play knight b6, knight c4, I don't know. Knight b6, I thought you'll take on e6. I was really... Queen e7, takes queen e7. Yeah, queen g6. King yeah. b7. So, so knight c5 here, uh, knight, b, knight b6. Can you show this because, yeah, so that we can all follow? I mean, it, it was my first intention, then I started to not like the sacrifice. Uh, queen g6. And I thought like b3, for example, and just didn't like the, I mean, maybe even white has something concrete. I didn't like the end game here, like take, take, and then h4. Um, I don't know if white has something concrete, but just four pawns, and they were kind of running. I don't know, I was very concerned about this position. Uh, so I, I went for something which looked like okay, I'm, I'm worse, but uh, I, I do have some compensation. It's not like a clear pawn. And h4, okay, rook a4. Bishop d4 here, I made a terrible mistake, I think. Uh, e5. Yeah, yeah. it's terrible, mm -hmm. terrible. I mean, maybe queen f4, but then f3, I wasn't sure. Uh, I, at some moment, I should castle. It's just the question is where. Maybe, maybe at this moment. And um, it's kind of concrete. If I get rook a8, then I'm getting counterplay, but... Or queen e3, maybe, and, and uh, or maybe back, I don't know. But, yeah, it gets very concrete here. I mean, it actually looks pretty dangerous again, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, but maybe here e5, I don't know. Because the attack is, it's not like a f immediate mate, but... Yeah, but it's going and... Yeah, it's yeah, very dangerous, yeah. uh, of course. I, it's not, not very nice for black. But still not so bad as after e5. After queen g3, I thought I'm already like losing. I just I don't know what I was thinking. I just oh, did, you, did you just miss this move? <laughs> yeah, queen, queen g3, yeah. Kind of shocking to miss one move. Uh, I thought the idea was like to provoke e5 and then to sack e4 and play. But that doesn't look so bad for black. And uh, here, I don't know, f6, g5, I just think I get crushed. And, uh, I thought what I tried is at least the last chance to make it a mess, but 
Your B3 would have been just simple, I think. Yeah, B3 looks really... Oh, I still have some hope here, but... Like F6, Queen E6, Queen A3, can I try that? You have no threat. Just, well, Rookie 2 is a threat. Sorry? Rookie 2, rookie two. some kind of threat, yeah. You can play Rookie 1 to stop this threat. Maybe it's winning like this. I think rookie one is very clean. Like, I don't have any moves. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, we did you saw this, but you didn't go for it because you thought the other way you're also winning, right? Yeah, I I thought Queen G7 is also winning here. I thought maybe as rookie two, bishop b2. But the problem is, he doesn't really have a follow up after this. Yeah, just f6, queen e6, rook c1. Yeah, it looks like black's position is completely destroyed now after c6 is falling. Yeah, here queen c6 and mate, queen d5 and so on. Yeah, it's just gone. b3 would have been yeah, very so simple. Probably the, the, the final move would be just b3. Would, uh, here I can after. just run with the king. This is also winning. Yeah, I was worried about this just king run. Yeah. Now it's sort of, it, at least black has some checks, but I didn't see what I would do here. And, mm. So what did you really miss, like after queen e5? I thought this... he cannot move his queen. Um, I missed that he has bishop d8 here. Ah, okay, so you thought that, yeah. So it's just mate, but it's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here I can't really... Yeah, it's losing if white like, doesn't. If I play something like this... Here, f6. Uh, Queen c3, yeah, I mean, but it's it's not a way to play for a win. I think black can only be better. And here king f7. But even rook, or rook f4, f4, yeah. I mean, black will end up winning. What's the idea for white? So, I mean, yeah. I was briefly considering king d7, but it's completely insane. <laughs> and here I can't really um, go king c1 also because he has a rook f6. Or, yeah, six immediately. Rook a1 and d4 is hanging. It was, um, I think B3 was the simplest. I mm -hmm. saw it, but I yeah. thought Queen G7 also wins. Yeah. Just to, <laughs> it looked like everything is winning, right? So um, it was not easy to choose the right way. Well, we did, you play a really interesting chess in this tournament, and it's of course a treat for the fans. But you miss on some chances, and uh, obviously emotionally it's very difficult. So how do you usually, um, what do you usually do to come back into the flow, you know, to deal with your emotions after such games? Yeah, it's not easy because um, to win a game here um, requires a lot of effort and after doing all the best, like, all the possible, work, yeah, yeah, and then not finishing it off, it's, of course, disappointing. And Fabiano, today, uh, Andrea Bocelli was uh, in the uh, playing hall and, uh, well, you're both Italian, so he was uh, closely watching your game. Did it maybe impose some additional uh, pressure on you, or did you think about it at all during the game? No, I was actually very happy that he, I mean, it was a surprise to see him. Uh, like when I was a child, um, my mother and I listened to his music all the time. Uh, so a lot of childhood memories with, uh, with a lot of his songs. And I really didn't expect to see him before the game. I didn't know he was in Toronto. Um, but yeah, it was great, and I actually had some good emotions, but then started to um, be replaced by uh, concern about my position. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a quite a lucky day, but yeah, it was, it was great that he decided to visit the, the tournament, and I, I had heard that he was a, a chess, um, a big chess enthusiast. Yes, yes, and he actually said that he also contacted you before about a tournament that he would like to make in his own, uh, in his uh, home village. So if he does something like that, would you play? If I'm invited, of course. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, that would be great because I haven't played in Italy. I th think it's been a long time. I think it might have actually been um, <laughs> 2011. I'm not sure if that's uh, when was the last time I played. Yeah, it's been it's been many it's been many a while, years yeah. since I played chess in Italy. Yeah. 
Uh, do we have some questions from the audience, from, uh, from the journalists? Uh, I would love to get a couple. Uh, yes, please, John. Sorry, is it, is it working? Yeah, we think it is, yeah. Okay, a uh, question for Fabiano. Um, when, when you give up a chance to win and you might feel really depressed afterward and feel like you're, um, it's harder to get your energy back, is it the reverse when you've escaped from a, uh, from a near disaster? Or do you sort of feel like, I got, I got into that problem myself and so it's almost a bit like, I, 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 it's a bit like losing anyway. Well, it's it's certainly not like losing. Uh, it's it's good to have a, a lucky break, um, and yeah, draw is, is a good result considering the danger I was in in this game. Um, but still, my play I feel was not very good. So that's the, something that I, I need to work on in, for the rest of the tournament, um, because certainly if I continue to play like this, it's not like I'll get lucky every day. So um, so hopefully my play improves. But of course, it's it's overall very good to to get something like this. Do we have any more questions? Uh, Sagar, please. When you played Queen G3, did you feel like you were completely winning during the game or how was your feeling at that point? I wasn't sure that I'm winning, but it looked really good because any move he plays, um, like F6, I have G5. Um, he can't really take on H4 because I have Bishop E5. If castles, just h5 and I mean that attack was playing it by itself um, so it was I, I really thought that I have a very good position I didn't know how much uh, of a win it is but I realized that I'm clearly better um, yeah I just overlooked this queen a4 idea and uh, that costed me the game thank you well thank you very much uh, to both of you for coming um, see you next days thank you